Hey guys, welcome to my hometown, my story. We're in the great Big Stone Gap, Virginia, Southwest Virginia area, and this is the town that took me from a little girl all the way to a woman. Now, if we start back at the beginning, my twin sister and I were born in El Paso, Texas, and we lived there until first grade. My parents parted ways, and my mom moved me and my sister back here to Big Stone to live with our grandparents for a while, and this is where we, I grew up. It's a very quaint little town um, in the coal mine area, the coal mines, and the county is Wise County. So me and my twin sister Sharon and our younger sister Wendy, we grew up here in the beautiful Appalachian Mountains. And this is the home, as you can see, of the famous Trail of the Lonesome Pine, an outdoor drama. We're going to be visiting the June Tolliver House, and the drama is based on June Tolliver, as well as take you to several historical museums and places here in town. Also, Big Stone Gap is known for its own book. So, uh, an author and family that I knew, the Trigianis, Adriana Trigiani wrote a novel about Big Stone Cab that you can find online or in a bookstore. And it's also been a movie that Mike and I have seen at the theater. Big Stone Cab is the name of it. Actually, people come from all over the world for the Trail of Lonesome Pine and to see the historic places that we're going to show you here in Big Stone Gap. And we're going to take you to some of my spots that I remember fond memories of growing up here and being a child and a young teen and hopefully we're going to show you a great view of Powell Valley Overlook. <music> Stone Gap. Now this is where we had all of our football games when I went to Powell Valley High School and we were at the Powell Valley Vikings. I would sit right over in this area near the band. That's where all the high schooler kids <laughs> would sit. So I have a lot of fond memories of this field and this stadium. It's, it's always been separate from the high school itself. It's a few miles away. Um, Probably about six or seven years ago, they consolidated our biggest rival, <laughs> the Powell Valley Vikings' biggest rival, the Appalachian Bulldogs, consolidated into one school, and now they're called the Union Bears. So I guess you've got a lot of memories here in these Southwest Virginia hills and coming out here every Friday. Is this where we could find you every Friday every night? Every Friday night, you could find me right here during football season. Well. We're here in front of the Southwest Virginia Museum. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of history here in the Big Stone area and in these mountains. And um, I'm glad you let me come along with yes. you for this trip. Yes, Because we met in um, Johnson City. Then I made a lot of trips over here 
to, to Southwest visit Virginia. Me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> while um, while we were in college at East Tennessee State University. Yes. But um, I love these um, Appalachian Mountains here in Southwest Virginia just as much as you do. Yes, you do. So a little more history, you all is Big Stone Gap was originally known, this community, as Mineral City or Three Forks. Then in 1888, it became officially Big Stone Gap, and the name Big Stone Gap refers to the valley on the Appalachia Strait between Big Stone Gap and Appalachia, Virginia. Yeah. And it was the center for iron and coal mining in the 1880s and 1890s. Oh, well, there's a little more history. Thanks for sharing that with yes. us. But uh, you can see uh, the times and the cost if you want to come and go through the museum here in Big Stone Gap. Yeah. It's beautiful in here. This room. So they have a gift shop here, and Karen, you were saying everything on the first floor you can come in. It doesn't. There's no charge, right? Mm -hmm. But if you go up to the second floor, there is a charge. Look at all the neat things. Get the movie. Yeah. Uh, there's a yes. That's Wise Printing Company. 1890. There's a 1930s Big Stone Gap store right there. That's neat. Look at this, it was rules for teachers in 1872. Teachers each day will fill lamps, clean chimneys. Can you imagine telling a teacher today they'd have to do that? Look at that. Each teacher will bring a bucket of water and a scuttle of coal for the day's session. You can, Look at this. Women teachers who marry or engage in unseemly contact will be dismissed. So you can pause it and read all those. That's really interesting. Get all these little knickknacks. Mm -hmm. Here's um, a DVD for the Big Stone Gap movie. Yeah, so you get your books and everything right here about the history. So we're going back in the virtual exhibit room. Oh, neat. Look at there. George Jenkins, photographer of the mountains. What we got here? It says, uh, these chairs were used by George Jenkins to photograph his subjects. Look at that. Wow. And this and one. There's a little boy and a picture of him in this chair. Yep. Okay, this is what um, Coal Town would look like. This was owned by who? The Stonega Coal? Yes, Stonega Coal Company. And it was in a nearby area called Derby. Derby. And then it was bought by Westmoreland mm -hmm. Coal. Company. And the whole time I was growing up here, that's what we knew the coal company as Westmoreland. And it's pretty common, um, a coal town. You see where they would um, come in and build all the homes, just spec. And the families would come in and live with the coal miners. This stairwell. Beautiful. Okay, here we are. What did you find? This is about uh, iron and steel. Um, because in the 1800s, they not only did coal in this community, but iron. Okay. And is this uh, what we got here? Different kinds of coal. It you says it's a bit of gold. There they are. And there they are with their names. You can see them. Hmm, there is a difference in them, isn't there? Mm -hmm. 
So this is a part of the museum that you can actually tour. And here's some neat pictures playing. That old mine right there, Norton, Virginia Wise County. Hmm, lots of history here. Look at that. Southern Conductor. Looks like we got a little model railroad. What's it say? This 320 pound steam powered locomotive actually works. It will travel up to 10 miles an hour. It burns gas, coal, or wood to produce steam. It burns gas, coal, or wood. Mm -hmm. And it'll go up to 10 miles an hour? Yes. How cool is that? Take your date out on that. Next time your kids whine about um, their car, show them this picture. That's Mr. and Mrs. James Ayers, son of Rufus, at their new home. Look at some of these old hats. That's a early cloth mining hat with the carbide lamp. There's a hard shell. Old wick lamps, look at that. Mm -hmm. With the carbide tip. And there's a leather turtle. Hmm. Something, their currency was scrip. Scrip was a form of currency or credit issued by the coal company as wage payment. Oh yeah. That's the way you could pay for things, I guess, inside the coal. Kind of like on credit. Coal camp. That way they kept their money internal. Look, it says the Tennessee Ernie Ford mining song 16 times refers to this credit system with its line, I owe my soul to the company store. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Well, I think it'd probably be worth it sometime to go in there, don't you? Yeah. It's pretty grounds here. We're gonna take you back over this way and on to the next destination. Well, here we are, downtown Big Stone. Yes. Do you remember some of these? How many of these stores do you think are original from when you were raised? Well, Gilly's Jewelry right here. It says it's uh, established 1947, so it definitely yep. was. Falls TV was here. Really? The one next to it there? Yes, it was here. And of course, the post office building's been across the street for a long time. And I used to work right down there. It was my first official job when I was in high school at a clothing department store called uh, Mike's Town and Tweed. Oh, okay. But it's close. I remember that name. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this is the post office. Right, Karen? Yeah, the C. Bascom Slimp Federal Building. And the Bas the Slimps actually own the home that the Southwest Virginia Museum is in. Okay. They never lived there, but they had family members that lived there. And the, the shop right down here to the right, and that used to be... Uh, that used to be called Mutual Drug Store, and it's where everybody went to buy different items, and there was a little small eating place in the back, and it's actually in the Big Stone Gap movie and book, and now it's called um, Kirkland's. It's a restaurant. I remember going in there when it was a drug store. Yes. And eating a hamburger or something. Mm -hmm. Some of these were different stores, but they've changed, or the store got a different building on the outskirts of town. Over here, Karen, is the Coal Museum. It's the Harry W. Meter. Meter. Yeah, M E A D O R. Let's go over and take a quick look. You want to? Mm -hmm. All right. Good thing. He's got a lot of things outside here. But it's owned by the Westmoreland Coal Company. Operated by the town of Big Stone Parks and Recs. Look at these things. Old. Yeah. That's what kept power going for so long in this country. But look at that. You can see you still got coal laying in the bay. Well, it's actually rock now, but. Hmm. Oh, look at that. You can sit way down here and operate that. Think you could operate that? Okay, here's some more history. 
we're just not sure what it is. It's running on the track there, you can see. Has a belt. Look at this, some of our coal miners on our channel will maybe uh, tell us what some of these machines are, if we have any. Look at that. I can't believe how big that tree is right there. Look at that thing, that thing is huge. What? Oh, it's grown on the porch, hasn't it? This is the Miners Coal Museum. See there? Look at that. It has grown on the porch. Hmm. They're closed, aren't they? Yes. So we can't go in, but there you go, that's it. Well, there's a little bit of downtown here in Big Stone. There's much more, we'll show you a few more little stops. And um, we're gonna head up and show them where the Trail of Lonesome Pine is um, put on, right? Yes. And uh, the June Tolliver House. Right. We're gonna see if, um, if it's open, we'll maybe run through there, but here we go. Come along with us. Hey everyone, here we are at the June Tolliver Museum and Playhouse. So the June Tolliver House um, dates back to the turn of the century with the paintings and antiques that are in there. And there's a rotating art gallery by local artists on the third floor. And it operates the June Tolliver Playhouse drama with a trail of lonesome pine that is an outdoor drama during the summer. I used to come here when I was growing up every summer to go to the Trail of Lonesome Pine. And it was featured in the Big Stone Gap movie with some of the characters having star roles in the drama itself. Oh man. So there's a lot of history here, isn't there? Yes, this actually, the June Tolliver House is actually a Virginia and National Historic Site, registered site. Hmm. Here we are at the Trail of Lonesome Pine. Outdoor we're, drama. We're actually standing on the stage. I wonder if that's, I hope that's not illegal or anything. We just walked <laughs> in. Um, it's not running right now. So back there is all the seating. And then you can see the backdrop to the stage right there. See that? Pretty cool, huh? Yes. All right. Some more stage props and stuff right back over there behind us. This is it. If you ever come to this area, you ought to come and check it out. It's really neat. A lot of history and a lot of things to, to learn. Okay, you know what? So since uh, Big Stone Gap movie was filmed here, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna film you. We're gonna film my story here. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually guys, I, like I said, I grew up here, me and my twin sister and my younger sister. A little bit more about me. My mom was the town clerk here for the town of Big Stone Gap for years. The original town hall building is no longer here. They tore it down. Uh, but we used to go there some with my mom and actually play in the council room, the councilman's room, <laughs> where they had town hall meetings. Um, and sometimes we rode the bus after school and got dropped off at the town hall and the police department was on one end. So we always knew the chief of police and all the police officers and they would have um, vending things out in the hall, but it would be like the co Coke bottles, the real glass Coke bottles that you'd have to go inside the machine and, and pop the lid off. And she would let us buy one of those and a pack of peanuts, our mom would, and we would always pour our salted peanuts in our Coke. That is really good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so if anybody is watching uh, wants to tell us that you've done that or you've tried that, then call Everybody, me. everybody from the South has probably done that. I don't know. Um, and so then um, they built a new town hall and police department uh, probably when I was in high school age. Okay. Yeah. So, and we lived in probably three different houses in town. We lived, well, first we lived with my grandparents in an old white farmhouse. It's no longer there. Um, and we also lived in a little house on the west end of town with my stepfather. And then a town near the, uh, house near the high school part of town. 
and then they built a house, my mom and stepfather, when I was in the eighth grade, and that's where I lived until I went to college and got married to Mike. Yeah, and a beautiful river right behind you there. growing up in a small town. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on this adventure to Southwest Virginia and Big Stone Gap. Yes, we are at, I guess, the Powell Valley Overlook. Uh -huh. Back behind us is the beautiful Powell Valley. That's where you grew up. That's where I grew up. <laughs> yes, Big Stone sets and nestled in the Pal Valley area in the valley between the mountains, and that was the name of my high school, Pal Valley. Yeah. It was just a great place to grow up, a small town feel, small town America, yeah. as they say. And um, just was thankful to have this kind of heritage in my background and my family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've enjoyed it. Thanks for giving us a little tour of your hometown. We appreciate it. And um, I guess one of, this is this one in some of the series. We're going to, I want to take you to um, where I grew up, show you a little bit about that in one of our videos. And then we want to take you back to where we actually met at, show you that, and talk a little bit about uh, our journey through life so far. Mm -hmm. And for 36 years together, that is. Yes, and even show you where we spent our honeymoon in Gatlinburg. Yeah. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching. We appreciate all of you. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button, and that will help us out a little bit. Yeah. So I guess that's it. That's it from the beautiful mountains of Southwest Virginia. We are Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.